Jane Lederick from Living Skies Vintage. I hope you're going to have fun with me today as we take a little trip. I'm going to do a little thrifting. Come along with me and we'll catch up at the end and review a little bit. So let's go. All the Halloween stuff's coming out. Yes, that's good. So I just want to point out something crazy. Bag of rocks. Someone bought them brand new. Bag of rocks with a hole drilled in the middle. And now you can buy a bag of rocks at the thrift store for $5. everybody, it's Jane from Living Skies Vintage. I'm back at the house after my last little thrifting trip. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. And uh, I've got a few things to show you, so let's take a look. So I'm back, and here we are. I'm going to show you a few items that I, I did pick up on that last trip. I don't know if you saw all of them in the cart, but... Uh, Let's take a look. Now, this one, I'm pretty sure if you saw it in the car, it was actually in its box. But isn't this sweet? This is a hummingbird trinket box that was put out by Avon. Now, I don't see any dates on it, but it's in beautiful shape. I don't see any chips or cracks on it. Those just look those just look like where the color didn't reach on the green with the paint. Same as in here. And it has actually got a little box. I'm going to listen to this. There you go. Listen to that click. That's always a good sign. But look at those wings. Nothing on there. I, I've got a little bit of a... Uh, it's stored in right now in a really nice styrofoam box with cardboard and it's going to go back in there and this will get this will get listed on on one of my cell sites i hope you uh hope someone likes it i think it's really sweet and that that hummingbird that hummingbird is really just so gorgeous and i love these are uh these would be probably day lilies they're definitely lilies maybe even oriental ones that you have in your garden. Gorgeous. So that's one item that I picked up. And then, I don't know, it seems that I keep finding corn. More corn, salt and pepper shakers. Now these, missing one, and it's marked Japan. So these again are vintage, not marked made in Japan, just marked Japan. So we know that these come from probably the uh, 60s or 70s and you've got a two and a three hole no uh, no chips or cracks in there but wouldn't that be a lot of fun at uh, at your Thanksgiving table you know or in or, or just just in your kitchen is a little little row of corn or something uh, growing on your windowsill but salt and pepper shakers are fun I think they're meant to be fun and I think getting them out on special occasions with lots of different patterns is, it's kind of crazy and it's wild, but it's cute. I'll have to show you sometimes or one day. When I do a, I'll, I should do a tablescape. Everybody seems to be into tablescapes these days. Now, I'll show you one thing that I would use for a tablescape. And that's this little, oh, sorry about the flash silver tray let me just sort of zoom out a little bit there we go now when i picked this up it was pretty black but i used my uh, baking soda 
and uh, aluminum foil trick in a glass pan and isn't that gorgeous look at the engraving on that the pattern stamping and then the intricacy of this surround and the handles makes me think it's like the butler would be carrying this and would be carrying your the invites to the lady of the manor or for our modern day lady of the manor just have it by your bedside table you know for your for your bracelets at night you know your rings everything just goes in there my rings are a little little tight on me today so they're not coming off quite as easy but uh yeah don't you think that would be gorgeous or even or even just in the bathroom so that when you uh want to wash your hands or clean up or anything you've got something nice to to receive your your jewelry in so that's one thing now I know that you didn't see these because I got so excited I forgot I forgot to film but these are gorgeous and there's three of them should I start with I'll start with the smallest one but I think it's the prettiest one and it's a glass paperweight I'm pretty sure it's a Murano look at the control of those bubbles now I haven't cleaned these there's you know maybe some tiny little scuffs on these but like I said I haven't cleaned them yet to give them a good wash and but the, the bottom's nicely polished there is no name on these at all but look at that look at that bubble just swirling around now more bubbles swirling i'm just going to put this aside here and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these outside and let you see them in the sunshine also so i'll slide slide some of those uh pictures in in that in of those in there now this is the second one and this looks like again you got mostly the clear egg but look at this tornado and that's the only way i can su su ex the only way i can describe it is a little colorful tornado with these twirling I don't know whales or air beings coming off the top of it uh it 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 looks like a galaxy to me and 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 this does not this right here does not show you how beautiful it truly is in the light and like I say I will get I will get some pictures of these in the in the brighter sunlight for you it's just that it's difficult to get that here now the last one again is another swirling tornado of color more the green and the red and then look at these two encircling bubbles look at those you know that's that's a lot of control to be able to do that type of work these have all got polished bottoms it's just so pretty so I found all of these thrifting and these will get will get listed. So I hope you all enjoyed that that little haul of what what happened this weekend for me and uh I hope you all come back again. Uh please give my give me a thumbs up which is like this video. Please share it to people that might be interested in in what I do and uh please subscribe. Um, it just allows you to be notified when I have new, new uh, videos up and doesn't cost you a thing. And it really helps me out getting, getting new subscribers and getting people to keep watching my videos. So thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, all of the people that have already subscribed to me and anybody new coming in, I wish you well. Please have a great day, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.